If you subscribe to the channel, you'll get lots of interesting videos like this one. And if you like the video, it'll really help us out. Please comment down below for any other interesting things that also really helps us out as well. Hi, and welcome to another edition of BC Theory. So we just went over the longest increase in subsequence problem yesterday. I want you, uh, there's one problem that I want you to work on, and actually two, I guess, that would be actually kind of interesting. So we fi figured out that longest increasing subsequence takes n squared time. So what are some problems that we can do here? So one, can n squared be improved? So is it possible that I can get faster than n squared time? This, it actually might not be possible. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think. And the second one, which I do know the answer to, but I want you to figure out, is a uh, same problem as the longest increasing subsequence, but only for substrings. So uh, remember that a substring is contiguous. So uh, subsequences can be uh, any subset of the array, substrings uh, have to be contiguous. Or you can think of contiguous subsequence as the exact same thing. So can we uh, get better than n squared? Because I could just run the exact same algorithm for substrings and it works just fine because every substring is a subsequence, but is it the case that we can actually do better? Is there something about having things being contiguous that makes the problem uh, easier? Or is it not possible to be faster than n squared? Maybe it is exactly the same runtime. As computer scientists, what we try to do, in mathematicians, I guess, is to try to make an, um, we try to improve um, either some runtime or we try to improve some theorem or some statement and try to make it, get rid of any extremities and try to make it as, ex, as specific as possible. So maybe substrings might still take n squared time. Then maybe uh, substrings of a certain length take n squared time. Or maybe substrings are faster. Then maybe we can look at subsequences of um, that only skip one element or skip two elements. Maybe we could do better than n squared on those. Uh, that is something that I want you to work on into the comments. So hopefully that was interesting. Put your answers or proofs into the comments. And as always, I'll see you next time.